Hello, my name is Gabriel McCarthy and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to do 1,000 squats every day for 10 days in a row. Let's see how it goes. So the plan is simple. Um, for 10 days, I'm going to do 1,000 squats. Um, and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to start with just the 45 pound bar on my back for the first day. I'm going to add 2.5 pounds to each side every day. So I'm gonna add five pounds every day. So the first day, um, which is today, obviously, I'm gonna do 45 pounds, then tomorrow's 50, then 55, and then I'm gonna work my way up to, I don't know the math for 10 days, but I'll probably put it like right there. Um, and let's get straight into this challenge. Ooh, I hope you boys like this 4K quality. I know this is a weird angle, but this is what my leg looks like pre-day one right before the squats. Here's what it looks like. This is what it looks like when I'm flexing it. Not flex, flexed, not flex, flexed. And yep, this is the starter pack. See how it ends up in 10 days. We are now in the gym. Here are squats zero through 100. I'll play speed at the time. So let's get right into it. So for the rest of the speeded up clips, I'm going to use copyrighted music, um, but I would like those companies to know if they just so happen to see this video that um, I don't make any money from this. And this will probably get like 50 views to 100 views, so you're not going to get any money for copywriting me. Thanks. way too hard way too hard so after day one um that was way harder than i thought thought the squats gonna be a breeze um but yeah my legs are tired after only 100 squats with a putrid amount of only 100 squats um see you for day two <coughs> so it is now day two of 100 squats every day we're adding five pounds, 2.5 each side. I don't know if this is a good angle. And it might not look like a lot, but we're gonna add slowly more and more every day. Let's get right into it. Oh, that's so tiring on my back. So it is now day three of this 100 squats every day challenge. And I've made the decision to move my squats from one set of 100 to four sets of 25 because it's simply more efficient. I'm gonna do my squats slower and I'll make sure they're all perfect technique because I believe that will make the results a lot better. We are now in the gym for day three. Got these big boy, big boy five pound plates. Yeah, that was so cringe. I'm never gonna do that again. Let's go. Way, way too easy. As you might have saw with the clips, if you watched them slowly, you could see that I was not pushing it at all. Those were way too easy. Um, the 4x25 format, I think is still really good. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add 10 pounds every day instead of five, and hopefully that slowly burns me out. Let's go right to day four. Hello, this is me after the 10 days. Um, this is me after recording all the footage. And I just wanna tell you guys that days four through seven were completely messed up. Um, all the clips were just ruined. Now to kind of remake them, um, it's only gonna be about 50 seconds. So just beware that the next like 50 seconds are kind of off. But um, day eight, nine, 10 are gonna be perfectly clean, uh, good clips. Let's get right back into the video. It is now day four. We're now using the 10 pound plates. And hopefully this 10 pound rule will uh, make the squats hard. To like and subscribe. Maybe share this video with a friend because I actually have to put in a lot of effort into this YouTube thing. It is now day five and I have a 10 and a five. That kind of rhymed. It is now day six and I have a 10 and two fives. It's a terrible angle, but it's gonna be tough. It is now day seven and we are using 25 pound plates. It's gonna be tough, but at least we don't have to have all those little weights. It was kind of annoying putting them, putting them all on. It looks cleaner when you only have one weight on or you have like a few 45 plates on. And yeah, let's get into it. So after 50 seconds of that lazy editing of days four through seven, we are now back on pace for days eight through 10. Let's get into it. So it is now day eight and I need to make some pretty big adjustments because I'm having some problems. So I've done 100 squats every single day for seven days in a row. Um, and it's put a toll on my back. My legs are actually fine, but my traps and my lower back they're starting to hurt a little bit, um, and it, I don't want to cause an injury, so for the next two days, days eight and nine, I'm going to just do regular squats, no bar, no funny business, and then on day ten, I think I'm going to spice it up a little bit and do something fun for my 100 squats on day ten. But anyways, let's just get right into it. It is now day nine, and let's get this done. So it is finally day 10, and right before we get into the squats, let me briefly explain how I'm going to do it today. So over the course of these 10 days, I've been either doing 100 in a row, 4x25, or 5x20, but today I'm going to do 10x10 10 10 with the 45s on. I know it's kind of a little bit shaky, I know that math doesn't add up, but I want to do something different and fun for the day, um, and let's get into it. By the way, my first two sets are gonna be with just the bar, and then 25, and then my last eight sets are gonna be with the 45 pound bar.
So we are now on my last set of squats. I only have six more because I did 14 for one of my sets because I didn't want to like die at the end. It's been tough, but hopefully we can get hopefully we can get this six pretty easily. Last six of the 1,000. Let's go. My back is so slippery. Four more. Two more. Last one. Let's get a speed rep in. We are now done. So the 10 days of 100 squats every day is now over. Let's get into the part you guys have been waiting for, the results. So this is what my leg looked like on day one. Um, you see it right there, I'm playing that old clip. And my goal was to gain size and definition. And let's see if we did that. And this is what my leg looks like on day 10. Flex, no flex, flex. Get a good angle, flexed. It might be a little bit over exaggerated because uh, it's a little bit better lighting, but these are the results. So I think those results were pretty impressive. I think the spot I gained the most improvement in, in was that muscle right next to your knee. That got a lot more defined. Um, overall, I actually didn't get that much stronger. It's only 10 days, you can't improve that much in such a small period of time. Um, but you can definitely change definition quickly, um, but definitely not strength. Strength takes time. I'm so happy I'm done with this challenge. Um, squatting every day and having that weight on your back is just not good for you. I'm gonna get back to my regular leg routine um, that I've been doing for a good amount of time now. And peace from the Northeast of America.